Shemot, Exodus 2. And there went a man of the house of Levi, and took Et to be his woman, a daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw him, that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. And when she could not longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes, and daubed it with slime and with pitch, and put at the child therein. And she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. And his sister stood afar off, to wit what would be done to him. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river, and her maidens walked along by the river's side. And when she saw at the ark among the flags, she sent at her maid to fetch it. And when she had opened it, she saw at the child, and behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Irim ch- ch- children, rather, Ivrim children. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to you a nurse of the Irith, rather, Ivrith women, that she may nurse at the child for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called at the child's mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take at this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give you at your wages. And the woman took the child and nursed it. And the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she called his name Moshe. And she said, Because I drew him out of the water. And it came to pass in those days, when Moshe was grown, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens. And he spied a Mitzri, smiting an Ivri, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no man, he slew at the Mitzri and hid him in the sand. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Ivrim strove together. And he said to him that did the wrong, Wherefore smite you your fellow? And he said, Who made you a prince and a judge over us? And intend you to kill me as you killed at the Mitzri? And Moshe feared and said, Surely this thing is known. Now when Pharaoh heard at this thing, he sought to slay at Moshe. But Moshe fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water, and filled at the troughs to water their father's flock. And the shepherds came and drove them away, but Moshe stood up and helped them, and watered at their flock. And when they came to Reuel, their father, he said, How is it that ye are come so soon today? And they said, A Mitzri delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds, and also drew water enough for us, and watered at the flock. And he said unto his daughters, And where is he? Why is it that ye have left at the man? Call him, that he may eat bread. And Moshe was content to dwell with Et the man, and he gave Moshe Et Sipporah, his daughter. And she bore him a son, and he called at his name Gershom. For he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. And it came to pass in process of time that the king of Mitzrayim died, and the children of Yashael sighed by reason of the bondage, and they cried, and their cry came up unto Elohim, 
by reason of the bondage. And Elohim heard at their groaning, and Elohim remembered at his covenant with Et Avraham, with Et Yitzchak, and with Et Yaakov. And Elohim looked upon at the children of Yashael, and Elohim had respect unto them.